want to introduce you now to a remarkable woman from Kiev who arrived in London just four months ago. She had a dream of opening a pastry cafe run entirely by women refugees like herself. And today, that dream came true. Thomas McGill went along to meet her. It's not just coffee and cakes being made at Covent Garden's newest place to be seen. For Yulia, it's a new life too after her old one in northern Ukraine was ripped apart by the war. My city destroyed a lot and uh, I have a flat back home and in my flat rocket came and this is just like, and I, I just saw this in the news. I'm sitting in a refugee camp in Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this news and I'm seeing this is my building where I have a flat. Now in London, Yulia trained as a barista after meeting Lisa who fled Kyiv just four months ago to follow her dream of opening a vegan cafe. All girls in my cafe is a Ukrainian refugee and also my pastry chef. These girls, they don't know English perfect, they don't have experience because they didn't think that they have to leave their family, their home and started to work anywhere else. Lisa says today wouldn't have been possible without the help of many Londoners over the last month. When I'm working here alone, painting walls and everything, just people start to come like, hello, can I come and help you? Hello, 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 hello. And now I have like my amazing team. So now the cafe's in full swing. The verdict? The place is very comfortable and romantic with Ukrainian music. And it, for me, as Ukrainian, it feels like comfort zone. I really like it that it's not uh, like, mm, how, how would I get it? Um, not just like Ukrainian style, but like modern fashion, you know, like so cute and cozy cafe, but like still Ukrainian. So success today, but Lisa has big plans for the future too. For sure, my second cafe will be in Kiev. Thomas McGill, BBC London. Well, that is looking great. And you know what? It's very on.